today I got up at 6 a.m., which I'm very proud of. We gaan beginnen met een uh, ochtendloopje. Ben ik ben al getraind om iets vroeger op te staan. Maar ik trap mezelf op om telkens weer op de snoes knop te duwen. En dan stel ik mezelf ook elke keer teleur. Ik kijk heel graag naar YouTube en ik kijk heel graag naar vlogs van mensen die niet uh, succesvol zijn. En elke keer denk ik van goh, kan dat ook. Dus dat was de eerste stap vandaag. Vroeg opstaan, meteen gaan lopen en mezelf te filmen. Ik denk dat dat wel de grootste drempel is voor mij. Als je dat redelijk oncomfortabel voor de camera staat, wil ik dat ten eerste uit de weg gaan. It's my first day as a kind of a freelancer or I'm just starting my own agency. I don't really know what, what direction I'm going in. This is something I dreamed about all my life. So I graduated from college in 2016. I got a degree in marketing and I just didn't want to work for a company. I just wanted to do my own thing. So back then I was doing music production and I was DJing. As years went on, I made tracks and tracks and tracks. I probably made 150 tracks in one year and then I caught the attention of some world famous DJs. I got releases at one of the biggest labels out there and eventually I got the opportunity to play at clubs in Barcelona, Amsterdam, France and then the opportunity came for me to play at Tomorrowland. So that was basically my dream come true. But after that, I fell in love with entrepreneurship. There's a friend of mine who started his own business and I was like really jealous of him. I was like, man, I can do that too. Uh, why, why can I do something like that? He gave me all, all of these, um, these, these guys like Gary Vaynerchuk, Tony Robbins. I was, I was intrigued by how motivating these books and these podcasts and these documentaries can be. So I went on and started my own journey. I started the hustle mentality. I called someone, uh, I think it was my girlfriend's boss at the time. And I just came up with anything I could do for, for that business. So I could take pictures, I can make videos, I can make a website for you. Actually I didn't, but I know there are tutorials on YouTube about that, but she said, yeah, let's have a talk. And then we, uh, we discussed some bits and I got the, the opportunity to take some pictures, make a video, make a website for her. And that's when the spark of doing my own thing started. What I did then was follow my heart and yeah, just went out of my comfort zone. I decided I wanted to go and pursue a career in making videos for companies because that's what I love the most. Editing videos is like making music. It, it looks a bit the same. It's like puzzling different bits and pieces together and you have to fit it to the music. It kind of give myself the feeling of when I started making music. Without any plans, I just quit my job at the, the company I was working full time and I took a part-time job at a local sports store called uh, Decathlon. This was a really good environment for me because I could grow my skills as a videographer, as an entrepreneur, uh, honing new contacts with, uh, with business developers and yeah, I was in a really good position, a really comfortable position. But the three days at the part-time job were not so passionate for me. 
I was working really hard trying to build my skills, but the, the pressure wasn't really there and I, I do really need pressure. So as I'm starting off this journey as a freelancer or as I'm growing my own agency, I wanted to document it. If I want to make content for other businesses, why can't I make content for my own? I really want to give value to other people. I think I, I have to share the ups and downs. When I'm in doubt of myself, I have to share it. When I'm feeling good about myself and about my company, I have to share it. If it wasn't for YouTube, if it wasn't for other people sharing their knowledge, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I would be at my nine to five job probably and not knowing that you can really do this. You can really, you can make your own living. Here we are.